What's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna hook up my PLX little box. It comes in with a kit. So this wire is a powering ground. So this little connector goes to your gauge and your gauge has two cables. This little connector that looks like a earphone plug, that one's gonna go to gonna go to this end. You're basically you're gonna plug this one to that. And this connector right here, it's gonna go to your your O2 sensor, your wide band sensor. So this you're gonna plug into that like that. And this and this little earphone connector is going to go like that. Okay, I'm going to hook it up on the car. Okay, I'm inside my Honda Civic. If you notice that I hooked up this fuse wire to the red um, power source. This is gonna be going to your fuse box under here. The ground, it looks like that. You're gonna hook it up to somewhere inside of here. And right now I'm gonna take off this screw, that screw. And that screw to unhook this plastic, and you're also gonna take this plastic out. That way, it could that way, it could run this one right here. I'm gonna take off one of these fuses and put it in there. And also tuck in the wires. That's the reason why I'm taking this plastic out. And this is where my gauge is gonna be. So I'm gonna run the, the power through this corner all the way down inside of it, inside of this plastic, zip tie it somewhere, and it's gonna look clean. Also, don't forget to take off this little um, plastic screw to pull this panel out. That way you can run the wires really nice inside of it. So this is where I end up putting it, putting it on, right there. I took off the other old one and I ran it to this one. This one is the ignition coil, which is this one right here. my van put it right here okay so I'm inside my Honda Civic and I'm gonna run the other side of the harness of my white band the gray wire here this gray wire and there's a hole down here for your bank uh, to downstream motor sensor behind this carpet let's see if I can show you Okay, it's right there. You can see it. That's where you can run your Y band O2 sensor harness. This gray wire here where my thumb is. That one. You can run it through that little hole. Don't forget to put that blue grommet back on so you won't have all the all the smoke come inside your, your car. So that's where the hole is. Okay, this is underneath my car. My car is a 1999 Honda Civic EX four-door sedan and I have a straight pipe on my car. This is your upstream bank 102 sensor. I'm gonna remove that one off. Put it right here, put a bung here. So I'm gonna put this bank 102 sensor right here and I'm gonna put my Y band where it used to went. And I have the spacer to run the um, bank 202 sensor downstream so I won't get a check engine light. That's how it looks. Okay. This is an O2 sensor bung. I'm gonna weld this right here. 
I'm going to take off the bank 102 sensor upstream. I'm going to put it right there where that bung is. And I'm going to put the um, Y band O2 sensor right here for bank 1. And this is where um, bank 2 downstream O2 sensor goes to. You see where the, that, um, that blue grommet is up there? Right there. I'm going to take that um, rubber piece, that little blue rubber piece off, take it off and run my um, Y-band O2 sensor harness right there where that blue is. Okay, that's your Y-band O2 sensor bung. Looks like that. I'm gonna put it on the O2 sensor for right now and get it welded. That one's gonna go up here like that. I'm gonna get this welded all around. Okay, this is how my straight pipe looks on my 1999 Honda Civic EX with a B16A2. I'm gonna put this bung, O2 sensor bung, right there, get it welded. Just like that, I'm gonna put the bank one up to upstream O2 sensor here. This one's the downstream O2 sensor, which is hanging right here with the spacer so you won't get the check engine light on. Okay, I got the uh, bung welded. You see there, I'm going to put the, um, the O2 sensor Y band sensor on the OEM headers here and the bank one upstream O2 sensor is going to go here. This one's your bank two downstream O2 sensor. So I'm going to put the factory um, O2 sensor bank one upstream here and right here on the, on the factory OEM headers. I'm gonna put um, this Y-band O2 sensor. I'm gonna run the harness for the Y-band. Right there. So what I did, took off the, um, the Bank 2 downstream auto sensor little rubber thing I cut it in half that way I could put the Y band sensor and the original bank 2 downstream auto sensor together I'm gonna run it through this little hole which is your you know factory hole on, on your car what you do you're gonna put your um, your Y band harness you're gonna cut this little rubber in half Put your O2 sensor and your wide band harness through there and then plug back the holes. Alright, so this is your wide band O2 sensor. I went up over this subframe to right here. And then I'm gonna, uh, with this blue little rubber, little grommet, I'm gonna go inside of here, bring the other side of the wide band O2 sensor harness, and then, and then plug it in to here and then zip tie it away. It's gonna look good. Okay, this is your uh, Y band O2 sensor. I ran it up here under this subframe. Down here, this is the other end of the Y band O2 sensor. This is my bank one upstream O2 sensor that used to go here. Now the Y band goes here. So this is the one connector side of the connector. And then the other side of the connector, it's right here. So we're gonna plug in the Y band auto sensor like that. So it comes out from this hole from your bank to downstream auto sensor. That hole, you know, you can take out your harness from your Y band auto sensor, run it like this, you know, over the uh, subframe. 
to your um, stock OEM header or aftermarket header here and your um, your stock um, bank one O2 sensor bank one upstream this one's going to go to in, in front of the straight pipe or in front of your cat and your bank two downstream O2 sensor always goes behind that which is here don't forget to uh, get a spacer like that when you're running a straight pipe so you won't get a check engine light. All right, I'm finished. So I put the wideband auto sensor here. I welded this bung and I put the bank one upstream auto sensor here, your OEM one. This is your bank two auto sensor with the spacer downstream. You see how I tucked in so this gray wire is your wideband auto sensor harness. This one's your bank two auto sensor harness. This is your uh, connectors. So from this little blue grommet, I did a little cut in the middle so I can run the um, bank two auto sensor with your wideband harness auto sensor. Goes like this from the little blue harness. This, the harness goes inside your car. This goes all the way on top of this subframe, all the way. To here, where your bank one upstream motor sensor used to go to. Okay, right now I'm inside my car. Uh, this is where I end up putting my wide band gauge. I'm gonna start the car right now. check out the functions that's the volts Works.